Hey guys, this is Lungaya and welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. <sighs> okay, barrier. Let's go and have a look first. End of the line. Uh, seems that way, maybe it's still under conservative. Seems that way. Not for us, I hope. Yeah, hopefully not. Anything else? First talk to Blue. Because she's my buddy. Get a good rest in the truck. But this leg is getting kind of stiff now, Blue. Yeah, I know you love a drive. Sorry about all this walking. Maybe we could both use the exercise. I'm sure it's hard on your creaky paws, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shannon. Did we just pass this place? Maybe someone here can point us in the right direction. Yeah, looks like they're still open. Must be the night shift. What do you think they do there? Here. Looks like an office building. Oh, we're gonna go inside. Office building? Yeah, an office building is a in a cathedral. Oh, really? I thought they were probably talking about the person that was just show shown in the like move, uh, the video before here. You know, I don't know. This is weird, but. Do you think we're inside or outside right now? Uh, oh? Ha, okay. We're very poetic. <laughs> well, maybe someone around here has a better sense of direction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go here. And have a look, see. <sighs> Let's see what this is. Nothing? Really? I see that it's like a fishing pole. Come on. Nothing? Nothing? Okay, can we go down? Let's go down here. Am I allowed or is this just not an option? No, I think it's not an option. Okay, let's go back. Go to this way then. Or do I need to go somewhere else? Yep, here we go, bell. Let's go to the bell. Still looks like an office building to me. They probably repurchased. Purposed. Repurposed this building to receptionist. Well, here you are. Better late than never, I guess. Just unload the whiskey over there by the elevator. I'll figure out something. I'll figure something out. Um, we're actually a bit lost, ma'am. You're lost, so you're not the sorry, honest mistake. We're supposed to have a little celebration here at the office, but the whiskey never showed up. I saw your truck and, tho and thought but you don't really look like one of the boys from the distillery anyway. What are you celebrating? What do the boys from the distillery look like? What is this place? Eh, I wanna know what the celebration is. Oh, uh, the less I understand the better. When I'm here, I keep the fans turning and the furnace hot and listen for the bell. When I get home, I'm a different person. I don't have to think about it, I just paint. What kind of answer is that? Still don't know what they're celebrating. Well, it's clear you're new to this territory. I expect you just mean to be passing through. We're looking for Dogwood Drive. Do you know where it is? That's the idea. I'll do this one. Dogwood? Nope. You're going to need to talk to someone upstairs about that. One of the map clerks. But first we've got to get you in the system. So you'll need an appointment with one of the ing ingestion clerks. Now let's see. Rick has booked proofreading drafts all afternoon and wanders out on a site. Hmm. Let me go make some calls and see if we have anyone free. There are some books over here, over there in the waiting area. Or just take a look around. Have you seen our grotesques? What? Oh, okay. What the fuck? What is that? Is that TVs? That's weird. The television is playing a cartoon about a bird. 
The cartoon bird collector collects pieces for its nest, a scarf, a plastic shopping bag, a bit of a young girl's hair. The nest is warm but precariously fragile. Television is playing what looks like a nature documentary. A hermit crab scuttles across a beach. Its shell is an awkward shape. It must have once belonged to a different crab. This is so weird. The television is playing an instructional video on an elevator design. It is crucial to maintain proper lighting in an elevator in the absence of sight. Passenger's sense of motion is greatly enhanced. The passenger should never feel as though they are physically ascending or des descending. The elevator should create the illusion that the building is flat. This is the mark of a successful elevator design. Okay. Good to know. The television is playing a closed circuit security feed of a housing project. The feed switches mechanically between locations, a hallway, a disused plot of grass, a stairwell, a mailbox. Uh-huh. There it is. Static is going crazy. The television is playing a silent video of an empty theater. A microphone sits in the middle of the stage. The lights are slightly dim. The speakers hum impatiently. I feel like I need to scream so you guys can still hear me. It's really annoying static. Oh my god. So much noise. Really? What is it with this game and noise? Jeez. Come on. Let's have a walk on the wild side. Oh, she's back. Good. Marianne. Oh, good. I thought you'd left. People can be so impatient. You never know. Well, I have you, you meeting with Lula Chamberlain. She's a senior clerk and doesn't usually handle the I ingestion process, but she's the only one with room on her plate for this evening. My schedule says she's on the fifth floor reviewing some diagrams. The elevator is just back the to the left here. There, fifth floor. Okay. Back here, so go through here. Yeah, I'm thinking. Somewhere. Low elevator. Ooh, books. Read. Three books are piled on the table. A service manual for a sewage pump, some architectural plans for a bungalow, and e a slim collection of Japanese death haiku. An envelope is protruding from the bottom of the stack. Picks up envelope. The envelope reads Bureau of Secret Tourism. It contains several small handwritten brochures with ritualistic directions to bizarre locations. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's check those out later. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Fifth floor, because she said it twice. Let's go in. Ooh, elevator music. She's on the fifth floor, right? Yep. Conway scans a, a column of elevator buttons. Third floor bears? What? Why is there bears on the third floor? So tempted to go to the third floor to see the bears. Should we? Could we? I'm going to. You can always go to the fifth floor next. Let's go to the third floor. Because there's bears. Oh my god, there's actual bears. What the fuck? Are we gonna die now? Why is there bears here? This is very strange. Oh my god. <laughs> Are they dead? No, they're moving. What the fuck? There's bears. Can we talk to any bears? Look at any bears? What? 
This is weird. Why is there bears in, in an office? That's just strange. Where are you going? Where is he going? Okay, there's nothing here. It's just lots of bears. <laughs> Can I have a bear hug, please? I would like to have a bear hug. <laughs> and they're all looking at me. It's like, you're not a bear. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. Okay. Well, at least we didn't get eaten. So they're friendly bears. Uh, they're really teddy bears. Okay, she's on the fifth floor. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just wanted to see the bears, man. For free. Should we do anybody else? All the other things are not really interesting. Maybe the archives and records? Let's have a look. Just have a little look. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Can we look at anything though? Can we look at anything? Come on. Nothing? Aw, that's too bad. Thought we might like find a secret or something. I don't know. Never mind then. Let's go back. Favorite floor of this building. Third floor. Bare floor. Yeah. Fifth floor. Probably the most boring floor. Come on. Yeah, fifth floor. Let's go. Do, do, do. Um. Okay, that's a nice glitch. Through the ceiling. <laughs> Hello. We're here. Oh. Okay. Let's restore that because that's annoying. And copyright, probably. Hopefully not. Greg is hard at work examining some diagrams, measuring angles with a plastic protractor, and occasionally scribbling numbers in a small leather notebook. Can I help you? Don't answer that. Uh, sorry, we're looking for an ingestion floor. Oh no, I'm an interior spatial analyst. What? Can't help you with that. I think the ingest ingestion clerks have all gone home from the night. Lula might be able to help you. She's pretty senior. You just missed her actually. She was up here about an hour ago. She's probably back at her real desk now on the first floor. Are you kidding me? She barely made a dent in these diagrams. Must have been dust distracted. Speaking of which... <sighs> Let's go back to the first floor then. Loud music! Please go into the elevator and don't be creepy. I'm like a ghost. Okay, her office is down on the first floor. Yep. Go, first floor. Wonder if we're gonna go on to all the floors anyway. <laughs> <sighs> there she is, Lula Palula. Hello, are you lost? Uh, we're looking for Lula Chamberlain. Oh no, she's much too busy. Let's get some of our s junior, so junior clerks to sort your paperwork first, so we don't waste any of Miss Chamberlain's time. It's a pretty straightforward process. First, you'll need to get a case number si assigned. Talk to Clerk Metzstein about that. She's just over there at the end of the room. Happy to help. Okay, it's getting annoying already. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. I just need your ingestion card and a list of your last five permanent addresses. Ingestion card. Oh, no ingestion card? Okay, that's okay. Just go talk to Clerk Boom first and he'll get you set up with what? What? Clerk Boom is just over there in the corner, happy to help. Are you kidding me? 
is going to be annoying, isn't it? Howdy. Here for an uh, ingestion card? No problem. He rummages through some papers on his desk. Happy to help. He opens a few folders and quickly closes them. Uh, looks like I'm out, but I know there are some back in the archive. You'll have to put in a special request with Clerk Macmillan. She's the document char. Straight back at the end of the office there by the file cabinets. This is just a runaround. Where's Lula Chamberlain? Oh no, it's... I mean, that's her right there in the cardigan. Yeah. I'm getting annoyed. Can we talk to her? Please. Come on. There we go. I'm not gonna do the whole, like, walk around the office in ten minutes thing. Having fun in the paperclip labyrinth? Well, you may... made it eventually. You look exhausted. I'd offer you my seat, but my ankles are turning on me. I'm fine. Arthritis. The receptionist says you could point us in the right direction. Arthritis? Dr. Truman says my joints are eroding one another. They've been collaborating for decades. It's only natural they want to kill each other now. Well, enough about my hateful wrists and ankles. This concrete bunker of an office is just a waypoint for you, I'm sure. Where is it you're trying to go? We're looking for a five Dogwood Drive. Hmm, Dogwood Drive, that's funny. Do you know I used to live on Dogwood Drive? This was years ago. A grimy old house, basement full of insects, attic full of birds. I had a few roommates. We all worked at the university. I had a dog. I drank whiskey and beer and made sculptures. But that dogwood was a surface road. With a name like that, it would have to be. What are you doing on the Zero? The gas station attendant told us we'd need to take the Zero to get there. Gas station attendant? I see. Friendly blind man, about my age, hangs out with an old cat, likes to pretend he's a poet. His name is Joseph. Do you know him? Joseph and I put to work, used to work together and we lived together. We were friends. But that was a long time ago. We haven't spoken in years. Do you know why he's pointed you this way? It's because he's still in love with me, of course, and now he's implicated you quite inconsiderately and in your condition it's appalling <laughs> so i'm very sorry for wasting your time but i'm afraid you've been misled excuse me oh my god but where's the dog what drive you lived on maybe it's the same one no it's not possible are you kidding me the dog would drive i lived on is now called Pill Dogwood Drive. They've renamed all the streets, you see. Too many streets with the same names. It was never a problem before, but now we have these databases and it's all too confusing for the computers. The computer has no sense of ambiguity, so it proclaims an error. Name collisions, they call them. So, my Dogwood Drive is Pill Dogwood Drive, and, and another might be Large Leafed Dogwood Drive, or Himalayan flowering dogwood drive and so on, but one of them is just still just dogwood drive, or so we might hope. It's ri lit oh, it's really a matter of consulting records of which we have an abundance here. Jeez. Do you have a record of those streets? I expect we must. They'll be up in the archives and records for floor. It'll be filed under zero or autonomous probably or G for generic or maybe S for specifics depending on which part of the street name was changed. It's getting confusing as hell. Oh, okay well we're gonna go to the archives in the next video guys. I'm actually having a headache now. <laughs> god this is so confusing it's fun though i like it it's still a really fun game to play but uh yeah so guys um hope you enjoyed watching uh leave a like if you did and see you guys on the next one